Determine the projection of the force F along the pole. Okay, so this is interesting. We've got this force here. What's the component of this force in this direction? How do we do this? Well, we talked about this in the vectors in space video. Let's call the, the magnitude of the projection, so not, not the force vector, just the magnitude of the force along the pole, Fp. And so if we want just that magnitude, what do we do? We take F, the vector F, and dot it with a unit vector along the direction of the pole. So we just need to determine the unit vector along the direction of the pole, and then just we'll do F dot that unit vector, which, which is easy. Dot products are easy once you have the vectors. All right, so to get a unit vector in the direction of the pole, what's a position vector? The position vector, let, let's say from, in, from, from O to the end of the pole. That's, so X, we'll, we'll start at, th th this is like O to the end. So we'll say two minus zero, plus, and then y2 minus 0, and then z minus 1 minus 0, right, because we're at the origin. The, 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 the first point is at the origin. So, two i hat plus two j hat minus k hat. That's the, that's the position vector from O to the end of the pole. So now let's make a unit vector out of this. So the magnitude of this vector is, so 2 squared is 4, 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 1 squared, so 9, so 3. All right, so u in the direction of the pole, the, the, uh, the unit vector is two-thirds i hat plus two-thirds j hat minus one-third k hat. There we go. So now fp, we just dot this, this f, f is this, with up. So how do we take the dot product? Well, that's that's easy. We'll say two times two thirds plus four times two thirds minus 10 times one third. Okay. So four thirds plus eight thirds minus 10 thirds, 12 minus 10, so two thirds. That's FP. And if we wanted the, the, this force vector, we would just say this magnitude times the unit vector, but they don't ask us for that.